Mark Vandermeer and this is SportsDisc.com. Michigan first year coach Rich Rodriguez says he's been hearing a lot of criticism from the fans as he contemplates the worst season in Wolverines history. Coach says he thinks some of his critics take it too far and should quote, get a life. Clearly he doesn't understand how lofty some of the expectations were after he signed a six year $30 million deal, including a $4 million buyout of his old contract at West Virginia. He also said maybe fans should consider other problems like the economy. Coach, they are concerned about the economy. After all, you signed a six year $30 million contract that's getting them a terrible ROI, otherwise known as return on investment. There's no truth to the unsubstantiated rumor that the University of Michigan would apply to Congress to be a part of the federal $700 billion bailout to save our financial institutions. But they might consider passing a hat at the big house to help pay the freight. Other coaches with bad ROIs, Charlie Weiss, $4.2 million a year, 9 and 14 in the last two seasons. At Iowa's Kirk Ferentz, $3 million per year, and the Hawkeyes are sub-500 in the Big Ten in the last four seasons. President-elect Barack Obama spent some of his interview time on 60 Minutes saying he wants to see an eight-team college football playoff to determine a national champion. BCS chair Jim Swafford responded, saying the BCS likes things the way they are, but did have suggestions on a national health care system and education reform. To that, Obama said Swafford should stick to things that he knows best, and then laid out a plan to abolish the DH in the American League and add an extra possession in the NFL overtime rules. Texas Longhorns defensive coordinator Will Muschamp has been designated the school's next head football coach after Mac Brown retires sometime in the future. Let's see. This kind of thing works out great, doesn't it? Jimbo Fisher at Florida State, which is having a decent year, but it's another substandard campaign for the Seminoles. What about Jim Mora Jr. in Seattle in the NFL? The fans are just giddy to see him take over after this year's meltdown in Paul Holmgren's swan song. It's also not working well at Purdue and at Kentucky. Mac Brown said he has no plans to retire anytime soon, though. And as far as Muschamp may be wanting Brown to leave sooner than later, Brown said he has no concern over that, but will hire a food taster and someone to start his car. Hey. Ryan Dempster has re-signed with the Cubs for a reported $2 million, actually a whole lot more than that, it's 52. So that would be two plus 50, making it $52 million. He's 76 and 81 over his career, meaning if he ever gets his record over 500, he could make some really big money. To be fair, Dempster's ERA was under three this past season, which in a pitcher's contract year is like winning the lottery. Adam Jones, formerly known as Pac-Man, is out of rehab, according to his attorney, who says that he's cleaned up his act for good, meaning he's ready to get back in the NFL, get in trouble, and go back to rehab. I'm Mark Vandermeer, and this is SportsDisc.com. Oh, 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 oh,